so welcome back and today I'm in Minecraft for a change but I'm in Minecraft for a reason as you can see up in the hills we've got a bit of an ice invasion or an ice rock invasion and that's because I've done a bit of tweaking and this here is star made ice and as you can see in my hand I've got some grey hull so um, I'm just going to take you through what I did on the left is the list of a few basic blocks this is work in progress it's not complete I've still got a long way to go with converting all the textures but the idea is to convert as many of the textures as possible to the same texture from um, star made the way I've done this is I've used the traditional texture pack in 512 because it matches the 64 by 64 grid size that star made uses and then I've opened, it's actually a lot easier in 1.7.2, I had to do it twice because the naming convention was slightly different a few versions ago. But apparently it's going to stay this way, so I'm going to develop the 1.7.2 version. But we'll get on to why I had to change it in a bit. So as you can see here, what I've screen capped is my Photoshop. Uh, I've just loaded up cobblestone and pasted grey hull over the top. So that's that one, X, and move on to the next one. I'm going to speed this up in the interests of saving time because it did take a while but essentially I just sort of aligned it so that it's in the middle saved it as a ping over the top and that's it done okay it's fairly straightforward just go through your uh, resource packs and manually edit e each of the textures uh, cutting and pasting from the star made texture pack of course so I did glass, grey hull, white hull, purple hull uh, ice, I think I did ice crystal and then I put the decorative panel on the furnace front and then I used a different one for the sides and a different one for the top. A couple of them needed tweaking so uh, my advice is take more than you need because the size is going to be 64 so it's going to crop it automatically. And like I say I just kept on going, cut, paste, align and overwrite. I think I only had to actually touch it up those few times. Didn't do any of the terrain because I just wanted to see that it actually works. Um, I used glowstone for the ice crystal because it'll glow like it glows in Star Made. Um, obviously I couldn't, I didn't want to get involved in animations because I'm just sort of proof testing this. But it went really well. It worked. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to carry on and finish the texture pack and obviously release it. But um, it's mainly aimed for people that want to sort of machinima makers, people that want to make their own little series in engine. This will allow them to also use Minecraft engine and we'll get on to why that's, why that's useful in a minute. But yeah, so I've got to the furnace top so I think that might be... It's nearly the last one now, <clears throat> but as you can see I'm effectively just overwriting each texture and then I'm going to move that texture pack into the right into the right place, so you know. I think I actually decompressed one and then just edited it to save time. So now I'm going to run over here and uh, build a little hut, a little research station of some kind using the blocks that I've got. And I think that the texture could use a bit of tweaking, but it came out okay. So we're going to speed this up again. Build ourselves a little room here. I might have gone a bit out. Might have spent a little bit too much time on it, but you know what it's like when you start building. You just sort of end up making something crazy. So I've made myself a nice little contained area. The idea is if I want, I can use um, World Edit and I can actually cut this out and uh, then start filming sections in Star Made so I could fly up to it, go inside but anyway that's all up to the storyboarding so just put the roof in a little bit of glowstone lighting for the uh, ice crystal there and uh, yeah, I thought yep, yeah, plex doors would go there and they're open right now so you can't see them <laughs> and then I think 
as the sun was going down I thought hey this place needs like paths and stuff so off we go with the walls got a little bit of lava there just wanted to make sure that it worked really um, the water transparency didn't really work so I think I might need to run MC Patcher um, I didn't actually run it yet I was just I was a bit eager to just get on and do it you know don't even know if it would work but there you go it's come out okay so we've got the Minecraft Vista <sighs> if you will and then up here I've got my uh, snow planet star made hut complete with computers the glass came out like I say pretty much alright I think I might need to expand them the borders look to look really big between but I'm gonna go back and have a look at screenshots and see it might just be that the lighting engine is doing that don't know but um, yeah so that came out pretty good so now we'll move on to why I've been doing this aside from the novelty so if you've watched so far now you're going to get the treat. This here is footage from later on in this video. Um, what you're going to be basically seeing is me in my cut and paste world. And I have taken my texture pack, which I now know works in Minecraft, and I've copied it into the Technic Launcher's Vaults Resource Packs folder. Now, because it was several versions back, I think it's like 1.5.2 or something, Forge, so basically that means that the naming conventions for the textures were different so I had to go in and rename things also I had a lot of fun, fun with the antimatter because I was like oh yeah this looks like a good set I could blow this up and then I kept on using the antimatter explosives instead of the red matter which is a big mistake because obviously what that does is just destroy the entire set and everything around you instantly <laughs> so here we go with take two <laughs> and I think I actually did the same thing again I kept on I kept on blowing up the set did I do it properly this time? let's see I don't think I did, I think I messed up <laughs> yeah, that's not the red matter bomb oh well, it was a nice idea it would look pretty good too <laughs> oh dear yeah, there's, uh, there's some cool explosives in uh in here and I'm going to be using them in machinima scenes and uh, I'm going to be heavily modifying worlds because I used to do all of that now I've got another reason to do all of that so here we are in my cut and paste world where I keep some of the more interesting things I find and yeah I just set off another antimatter bomb whoops it's like now I get it it's the redstone bomb or the red matter bomb that's the one that I was interested in using for a reactor overload scene in StarMade. So, the idea is I get rid of the whole uh, land, I load in the ship in a Minecraft version of the ship, and then we go down with the Minecraft, oh, sorry, with the StarMade texture pack on. Um, like I say, work in progress, so not everything's been converted. And uh, I just had the idea from Smedit where we were doing it the other way. I thought, why don't I go backwards? Backwards. Reverse, reverse engineering. <laughs> and, but yeah, so what we're going to do, I'm going to inspect the uh, power reactor here. It uh, seems to seems to need a red matter bomb right about here, I think. Yeah, lava core. Don't even need to light it. So, plonk. And now we get to observe. I also think that this would be a pretty epic effect to have in star made the blue swirly thing is new uh, the lights that are radiating that's the uh, same effect that you get when you kill the ender dragon in a vanilla version the explosions are obviously lots of TNT's going off but the thing that's really cool is the way that the blocks are removed in this radial pattern and they swirl around in the air like this I think that's really that's a really cool effect and like I say, I wanted to use it in some upcoming projects for StarMade. And obviously we can't do modding in StarMade. But if I can cheat and make Minecraft look like StarMade with the texture pack, um, uh, then we can use whatever mods we want. Just have to be very clever with setting up the world and 
what textures we're using and so on when recording. But like I say, it adds another dimension. And uh, hey, maybe you want to do like a crossover series with both games. Because you could definitely do that now. Um, but yeah. So I think someone had the idea of putting the Minecraft texture pack on Star Maid, and I thought, let's do that the other way around. Oh, here's a neat trick for destroying a... Uh, this, one will, this one will knock it off. It gets swung out, and then out the top. Where is it going to go? I think it went out the top. Yeah, <laughs> look at them go. The two, two black hole ball bombs sucked themselves together and then swung off into the sky. So anyway, we're going to do another one, because that's fun. And uh, get a better view of the explosion. I keep hitting the wrong button, because I'm always in Star Made. Right, so, there you go. I'm just going to watch this explosion go. Regardless of the graphical effects, the way that the explosion is always in a fixed point and sucks everything in around it slowly, it's actually quite a cool effect. I really like this. And the way that it strips the blocks away is quite scary. If you're like stood, I, I'm going to move over and stand and show you in a minute, but just looking at the way it just sucks everything in. And it's it takes ages as well for this one to run out. It's very costly if you were to build this in like survival mode, but anyway, like I say, for the purposes of a special effect, this is pretty cool. And I can't wait to do some more tests with this. But yeah, as you can see, if you're stood there, the floor just gets stripped, and then you're just surrounded by blocks flying around everywhere. It'd be a cool effect if it was feasible in Star Made, but who knows. 